I'm Mike Bowers and I'm photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures with photographer for the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age, the one and only Alex Ellinghouse. A very warm welcome back. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me. Mate, massive week. Yep. Um, massive two weeks, really, mm -hmm. of Parliament, but a lot of uh, legislation was, important legislation was passed. And I think yep. Jackie Lambie and David Pocock spoke for everyone when there was a piece of legislation that passed on the voices. They looked very yep. happy yeah, yeah, that yeah. they didn't have to spend more time in the Senate because there were some mm. all-night sittings. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they sat till well, just past after four the other day. Four a.m. Yeah, yeah, and this is um, the last we'll see of them until the May budget. Alex, the voice was one step closer to mm -hmm. being heard mm -hmm. as the government introduced the referendum legislation into Parliament. It's the first formal step towards holding the referendum on the voice. Yep. Uh, and we saw the Attorney General Mark Dreyfus uh, enter the chamber. He was embraced by Senator Malandiri McCarthy. Yeah, well, they he... came from the other place, yeah. didn't they, the Senators? There was um, Nita Green, Malandiri McCarthy mm -hmm. and, and Jana Stewart. They, 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 there was no, noticeably on the front bench, they're mm -hmm. not normally there. They pulled the Indigenous members of the House of Reps yep. forward to sit behind Mark Dreyfus, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, we had uh, Linda Burney, uh, Marion Skimjaw, and uh, Gordon Reid sitting yeah, behind sitting behind them. Quite noticeably, yeah. and I think quite pointedly, mm. um, um, Peter Dutton said he had a previous uh, appointment. Front bench remained pretty empty, I've got to say. It did fill up a little bit more yep. than this. This was right at the start, but you can't say that was an accident. This has got to be the image that they wanted to portray of it. It's, it's a very stark contrast. For that time in the morning, even the public galleries had quite a few people yeah. in the chamber it that was, were there to, to witness this. I thought John Cadelka summed it up beautifully, uh, Dutton Nullius. Yeah, yeah mm. such, a, such, a, such a stark image, isn't this? Yeah, because it's such a key piece of legislation, mm. it was a, almost a celebratory feel, and Linda Burney stepped forward here. Linda Burney, she was acknowledging the, the people in uh, the public galleries there was a standing ovation. This is probably the key mm. photo for me. This was mm. yours. Mm. What are you looking for when, when you know there's going to be uh, a form of celebration or a form of acknowledgement like that? What, what is it you're looking for to capture? I tend to position myself toward, in, in, in the gallery where I kind of think that they will look towards. And that gallery that I was sitting at had a lot of um, people um, that were facing the, the, the government. And that was where she looked towards to acknowledge after the uh, Attorney General introduced the bill in the Parliament. The other piece of big legislation that came through was the safeguard mechanisms. Mm. And um, mm. um, they might not be carbon copies of each other, but Greens and Labor finally did come to a sort of a, a, a rough agreement. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was, a, there, there was a deal. An really? understanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, ob obviously the uh, government needed the green support for this. Yeah, to... Adam Bant looks really very happy there. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris Bowen certainly did. He seemed to be pretty animated the whole week, but um, mm -hmm. particularly when he was taking carriage of this safeguard mechanisms um, and it went to the Senate and then came back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Peter Dutton and his team were there. They opposed it. He's very much trying to resurrect the ghost of carbon tax past because yep. I heard him use the word carbon tax quite mm -hmm. a number of times. Yeah, and we see that in this uh, this, this terrific cartoon over yeah, here. Yeah, David Rowe, the light at the beginning of the tunnel. Yeah, and you see the ghost of, uh, that must be Bob Brown over yeah. there. And uh, is that Tony Abbott? That's Tony Abbott, I think, and in the corner here is, uh, is Peter Dutton. If the hard cap fits, as he's putting the mining cap on, Adam yeah. Bant, the leader of the Greens. Beautiful Glenn Lelevre. Yep. You're welcome to stay, but I can't seem to get rid of these squatters. And it's um, gas and coal on the... Uh, on the couch watching the telly. Yeah, while well, the, the turbine and the, uh, the solar panel are trying to get in. <laughs> Alex, finally, our former host, Barry Cassidy, has become an insider of a different sort. He's been appointed chair of the Museum of Australian Democracy at Old Parliament House. Yeah, this is the uh, second take, isn't it? I mean, yeah. he was initially appointed in 2013 and then due to all the controversy and... There was uh, a change yeah. of government and they decided that uh, they probably didn't like him as chair mm. and uh, Barry stepped down and mm -hmm. um, he's been now reappointed, which is, uh, it's lovely. So it's... Uh, Back to you at Old Parliament House, Barry. And back to you, David. <laughs>